So this video is on Jesus' teachings on forgiveness. So <clears throat> first things first, you could be asked to describe Jesus' teachings on forgiveness. So um, the points you would use for this are very similar to the points that you will use for explaining Jesus' um, teachings on forgiveness, but we'll start off with the describe. Now, first things first, Jesus teaches that we should always seek to forgive. Now, he did this when he said um, to Peter that, no, you shouldn't forgive seven times, but 70 times, seven times. Now, that was because G because Peter asked him, how many times should I forgive? Seven times? Now, Jesus doesn't mean forgive 490 times and have a tally chart and tick them off. What he means is that we should always seek to forgive. The next thing is that Jesus teaches that we should, um, that God will forgive us if we forgive others. That's another reason why we should forgive. And this is based upon the teachings um, that Jesus gave. It said, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly father will also forgive you. Part of that teaching as well also says that if we don't forgive others, then God won't forgive us. Because Jesus says, but if you do not forgive other sinners your father will not forgive your sins. So you could make that as another point if you wanted to. Um, the next thing is that the, it's called that Jesus teaches that anybody can be forgiven, all right? And you can link this to two teachings, really, that Jesus teaches that God is love, all right? So that he's willing to, to accept anybody and forgive them. But also you can say that um, Jesus showed this by the fact that um, on the crucifix, when, when he was being crucified, the penitent, penitent thief said to him, uh, Jesus, remember me when you go into your kingdom, after saying that he deserved to die for what he had done, etc. And Jesus said, today you will be with me in paradise. Okay, so it's shown us that regardless of what we've done, we can be forgiven if we show that we are truly sorry. Um, the next thing for you to say is that um, Jesus teaches that we should seek forgiveness from God in order to repair our relationship with him. And the reason for this is that it is sin that causes um, a barrier between us and God. So we need to, to get rid of that. All right. And you can link this to Jesus teaching in the Lord's Prayer or the Our Father. All right. Where he says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. Uh, moving on from this, we can say that um, Jesus teaches us that um, forgiveness, even though that he's saying that, yes, we have to forgive, that it can be difficult, okay? And the reason why you can say this is the fact that Jesus says that we should turn the other cheek, okay? Um, and the fact that Jesus even forgave those who crucified, crucified him, okay? Which obviously would have been difficult, but he still did it. So he models to us about the fact that we should always seek to forgive. Uh, the final thing is that we shouldn't just forgive um, people we like, but we should forgive our enemies as well. And you link this to Jesus' teaching that says, love your enemies, because forgiving them is part of is because is part of showing them love. Now, when it comes to the um, when it comes to the explain question, you'll be using the exact same points for it. Okay, um, the only thing is that you need to make sure you've got a therefore of it. So, for the teaching where it says God will forgive. Um, will forgive us if we have forgiven others in our lives, all right? That, what we can say is that, we can link it to the teaching once again, for if you forgive other people, when they sin against you, your heavenly father will forgive you. So you can see the impact of this is that Catholics must forgive people who have wronged them in order to be forgiven. That's the impact on their lives. For the point where it says that we should ask God for uh, forgiveness to repair our relationship with him. And the reason for this is linked to the teachings I said earlier about the Lord's Prayer, about the fact that um, Jesus says, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those. Well, the impact of this on the lives of Catholics is that they go to reconciliation in order to say sorry to God and rebuild their relationship. The next one is that, um, is the fact that Jesus teaches that um, anyone can receive forgiveness, okay? And you can link this is what's called to the story of the penitent thief. The impact of that is that this can help Catholics understand that regardless of what they've done, if they show they're truly sorry, that God is always there for them. And you could say that they use that as part of their, part of their message when they go out and evangelize and they go and tell others. So this could be a way of, of building the church as well. Um, the next point about the fact that forgiveness um, may be difficult, but that we should always still forgive, right? And linking that to the teachings of the fact that Jesus forgave those who crucified him, then the impact of this is that Catholics should aim to follow Jesus's example and forgive people regardless of what they have done. Um, 
The next answer, all right, if you want to use the one about the fact that they should always seek to forgive, and you can link it with Jesus' teachings about not seven times, but 70 times, seven times. It's quite simply that Catholics should always be motivated to forgive others, should always find a way to try and do it. The final one is the fact that um, that they should show all people forgiveness and linking that to the idea of love your enemies. And I think the impact of this is that it just prepares Catholics to understand that it's going to be hard. But if you want to follow God, that's what you need to do. Now, the final thing you could say, right, is it's about the alternative. If it was an evaluation question about whether it's too difficult to forgive. So to disagree with that, you just use the points that I've just said, okay, about the fact of we should follow Jesus' teachings. Now, the reason why it's too difficult to forgive, right, is linked to sort of three ideas. Number one is that some people uh, would say that some things are unforgivable, all right? And this is because some, some actions of human beings cause so much pain and so much suffering that sometimes it's just too hard to be able to, to forgive them. Therefore, right, these people may say that they may struggle to, to forgive a person um, who has caused them so much pain, whether it be taking the life of somebody in their family, all right, or a crime similar to that, something that's caused that kind of pain. The second one is that some people argue that we shouldn't forgive people who don't show that they are sorry or repentant, all right? And this is because we'd say that they don't deserve um, to be forgiven, all right, because they're not trying to... They're not showing any sort of remorse for what they've done. And some people say that's an important facet. So therefore, these people may decide, right, I will forgive and I will seek to forgive, but only if the person seeks forgiveness and shows they're sorry. Um, and then the final thing is that the reason why it's too difficult to forgive is that at the end of the day, we are not perfect like Jesus. So sometimes cannot fulfill his teachings. And this is because Jesus is the incarnation. Jesus is God, so therefore he's perfect and is omnibenevolent. And, and we're not, we're flawed human beings. So therefore, these people may argue that, or Catholics may argue that, it is impossible to always follow his teachings. We can strive to do it, all right, but sometimes we will fall short. And that ends the sort of the, the video on Jesus' teachings on forgiveness. Thanks for watching.